Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft 1.21 Let's Play Episode 2. To begin with, I just want to give a huge thanks to the support in the last episode. It was uh, kind of mind-blowing to me. Uh, I'm being honest here. So thank you all for that, and thank you all for submitting name for the duckies. Du ducky Ducks? No, duckies. Du 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 there we go. Yeah, they they're all cute. And I have picked names for them. They will be revealed later because today we are very busy as you can see i've cleared out the ground from before or the, the dirt from the last episode everything is now floating because that makes sense uh the dirt is in here as you can see and today we're going to be building our house but before i can actually do that i'm going to be needing quite a few resources of which i don't have that many i need a bunch of jungle wood so i'm going to plant these saplings here I'm going to start chopping down some of these saplings here. Uh, trees, I should say. I need to get a bunch of leaves. And also a lot. And I mean a lot of stone. And the stone is honestly probably going to be the hardest egg headache of them all. Because I, I need a lot. I have a design. I, 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 I'm very happy with it. But I need a lot. And I mean a lot of stone. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But I'm thinking what I want to have eventually anyway... Is a little bit of a mine shaft going down to the bedrock level or at least down into the ground so we can get different types of stone and such so i can probably get it very easily just by doing that essentially and i'm also going to replant the trees because i kind of want to keep the um the, the trees around here i'll have to find some other trees i guess when those grow i can take the leaves from that that makes sense can i can i get a sapling please and nope okay but yeah i should be getting all the wood that i need from the big jungle tree i don't need the cocoa beans anymore uh so i guess what i need to do is go ahead and oh there we go i guess what i need to go ahead and do is either start on the uh, mine that i was talking about or quickly go ahead and visit the village that is over there where's the sun it is going down we could quickly explore explore some of these cave areas because i haven't really taken a look Closer look at around these parts. Imagine if there was a jungle temple or something. That would be something else. Don't think we have that, though. Uh, but this place looks absolutely amazing. And I do kind of want to take a look at some of these cave areas. Like this one. And place a few torches so we know where we've been. I mean, this could be the start of a cave. Or a uh, mine shaft. It's kind of in the thing here. We can maybe decorate this a little bit. I like working with what is already there quite a lot so if that is doable i wouldn't be too mad about that there's some copper and coal here good to know we're climbing the mountain anyway we're climbing the mountain also we're going to be needing bamboo so that is not a bad idea actually look at this this part is oh oh hello there was oh there's some iron there i will grab that iron you know what we are gonna uh i, I really want to get to okay let's go to the top then we will explore that a little bit later i just need to get a bunch of this bamboo i'm not gonna destroy them i'm gonna make it so that they can actually regrow i'm gonna set up my own bamboo farm down on the ground there we go a stack should be a second one should be plenty <laughs> uh let's just see if there's anything i've missed we have parcel here more bamboo obviously i mean this place in general is just very cool and you really shouldn't run and jump at the same time up here that is uh, a bad idea parrot I don't have my seeds. Okay. Uh, ooh, melon. Do I grab the melon? I guess I will grab the melon for melon seeds. I guess that would make sense now that we're here. Hello. Oh, there's a creeper. Hi, fella. Uh, don't blow up. Okay, you blew up. I mean, I will take the cobblestone, to be fair. Oh, dear me. This, uh... <laughs> um, you know what? I don't think... I don't think I need that iron. I really don't... Th Please... Please tell me. Oh, wow. That's a. Oh, wait. Okay. It makes sense you could come up here. I just really hope the other ones can't come up here. I will take the string. Please don't leave me over the edge. Um, okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know what? I think I'll get my iron elsewhere. Uh, actually, I think I could get it on the other side. But yeah, that. Uh, oh, dear me. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. I am not that desperate, to be completely honest, for a cave entrance that is already there. I can make my own. It's fine. Yep, okay. Yep, almost fell to my death. Ooh, what's in here? Basically a dead end. And another spider. Ow, come on. All right, there we go. That is some more string and another creeper. 
Uh, it does look like a lot of the mobs has been dealt with. And what I need to be careful of is the mobs will actually be able to get to me from over there. I just uh, don't want to fall and I just want to get this iron. And then, are you kidding me? One piece. One piece, uh, all of that for one piece of iron. Okay. I mean, I will have a sneak peek. I will have a quick peek. Nope, I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not. That, that, I have iron armor. It's fine. But I'm not gonna deal with, what is that, 13 creepers or something. No, you can forget about it. I'm good. I'm gonna get back to my bed now so I don't have to... Oh, those melons right there. Can I make this leap? I don't think I can make this leap. I mean, I can make it from here, no problem. Whee! Oh, there's back down here. Oh, wow, hello. Okay, I haven't actually dived down here before now. Um, this boss. There is moss, so that means, oh wow, yep, this place is cool, and I don't want to drown in it. <laughs> that would make it really uncool. Okay, so that was about five minutes of me doing absolutely nothing. I'm gonna plant all this bamboo now, or at least maybe this much. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna place down the entire stack, and uh, we we gotta just uh, yeah, we we just gotta do this. Boom, done, just like that. And you know what? I will visit the village. I will visit the village, and you know what, doggos, you are coming with me, whose names are going to be reeled later. Come on, fellas, we're going for a walk. Also, I should say that I will be revealing the names, however, we won't be able to remember who is who just yet, because I don't have name tags. <laughs> Which is the only issue at the moment. As soon as I have name tags, then that will not be an issue anymore. Hmm, the image, uh, image of the village is just over there. I just wanted to see if we have any potential in this cave opening. You never know. And wow, it keeps going. All this for a dead end. Yep, all of that for a dead end. Wow, okay. Oh, iron and coal down there. Please don't fall to your death. That would be very, very not cool. <laughs> and skeletons. Okay, please don't. Please don't go for the skeletons. You know what? I'm going to leave now. All right, village, and I see no life except for the iron golem. Hello, I see some stuff in there. Um, even more jungle over here. Wow, I think I can allow myself to take a little bit of hay bales here because I will need food quite badly. However, this village is not really as big as I had hoped, I don't think. Um... I think I was hoping for a little bit more. Ooh, I will be sure to grab a little bit of that. But uh, other than that, I don't think that's going to be... Okay, well, that's interesting. I don't think that's going to be much here to take. I mean, borrow or uh, be gifted. Oh, hello, cleric. Good to know you're here. So we can get emeralds for run flesh. Can you take it here? Ooh, stone cutter. I don't think I actually need a stone cutter. I will take the I will take the food and the emeralds, and that is pretty much it. Yeah, I think we can actually head back now. Uh, <laughs> not really much here was there. Well, we may we may return because we will need villagers in the future for sure. All right, with yet again nothing achieved other than a few emeralds and some more pieces of wheat. I think it is time. Well, actually, that tree has grown, so I guess I can chop this down, grow another one, and then I need to decide where I want to actually mine down. I just realized, though, in that cave up there, if I start digging down, I'm gonna land right in that pond, which is not cool. So I think I probably have to dig in this direction, which, with that said, I can either make it here on the land, or I can go somewhere where it would look cool in the distance as well, maybe over there, I, I don't know. I'll think about that while chopping down this tree. And uh, there we go, a giant tree has been chopped down. I broke my shears and I now have in total just over a stack of wood and almost three full stacks of jungle leaves. Honestly, not too bad, and a couple of sticks as well. So now with that done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make another iron pickaxe. And I am going to go ahead and find a place to mine. And I think I want it on this island. I think I want it here with me. Um, what do we have down here? Anything going in a specific direction? Only in that direction. So I'm safe to move this way, basically. I mean, we do have sand here. Making maybe a quarry here would be kind of cool. So maybe 
I go ahead and dig down right about uh uh hmm <laughs> why is this so tough all right I have decided I'm gonna go into this mountain a little bit and then we are gonna go ahead and dig down we're gonna make some nice steps because when I do want to actually install stairs at some point I want it to be nice and big already just uh, not just a two by two which is going to be very annoying to deal with. So we're going to move in like this, I'm thinking. Maybe stop right about here. And I'm already here. Going to start going down a little bit. I'm not going to go in that direction, even though we could in theory. But I feel like for some reason that I want to go in this direction. So we're going to go down like this, I think. And then maybe right about here already, actually, we are just going to turn in that direction, I think is fine. If we have slabs there, then we can go ahead and do this. Just thinking out loud here. We gotta reach some at the side here. That's cool. So yeah, slabs and three, and then we're gonna go in this direction. I think I'm gonna do it in these three by threes, like this exactly. Uh, this may not make sense to anyone, but I'm gonna do it in this way. Now I could do it the classic way of doing it like this, but to be fair, it would be looking kind of nicer if it went kind of like this instead. But I don't know if that is too much effort. Plus, we can always extend it anyway. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we're not in a rush, so honestly, I think I'm just gonna do it properly from the beginning, and that it's going to be a even cooler feeling when we actually reach the end of the road. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I guess this iron pickaxe breaks, and then I will see you on the other side, because then I really didn't think about that I need coal. Hopefully I'm gonna get a lot of coal for this, because I need to do a lot of smelting. <laughs> And that is a wrap. That is a lot of cobblestone, to be completely honest. Uh, hopefully, this is going to do it. Uh, that is probably not enough coal. Definitely not enough coal. But you know what? We got to start somewhere, and this is our starting point. And would you look at that? There's coal there, and I believe this is sunrise? Yep, sunrise. It couldn't have been at more perfect timing. So I am definitely going to be needing quite a few more furnaces than that. I'm going to make three in total here. I'm going to go ahead and make a new iron pickaxe, even though it is tapping into my iron department pretty fast here. And I'm just going to go ahead and set all of this up real quick. And then uh, I'm going to need some more furnaces. I'm just trying to make this go a little bit quicker. There we go. Two more. Boom and boom like this and like this and I'm gonna go and try and get some more coal from up here even though last time that seemed like a death trap I mean there's some coal here if we could get that that'd be great all right 12 pieces of coal from that one vein is not bad and we even got some more here however I'm not expecting this to be a huge one yep only a couple pieces there but that is 15 coal that's gonna last for yeah, yeah, pretty decent amount. I guess I'll check this platform again. I see three spiders, one skeleton. I mean, there's some coal here. But I really don't know if this is worth it. I think they see me. I think they know I'm here. Maybe I definitely hear a lot of bad guys. Um, I'm just going to sit in here. Hope they don't realize that I'm here. Uh, if they do, I'm... Basically in a really, really bad spot. I th think they don't know I'm here, though. Actually, this is kind of nice. Uh, get this piece. Get this piece. And you know what? That's actually pretty good. That's actually very good. Um, is it? Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. One day, one day I will be brave enough and tackle that. And then... We will have a huge area for something, maybe an enchantment room. I, I, I don't know, but right now, nope, not happening.
All right, add all the spare coal into this and the production of stone has officially begun. And I guess we can basically start with a little bit of foundation work. So doggies, you are going to go all the way over here so you're, that you're not in the way. Also not too clear, too close to the saplings so you don't suffocate. Please don't run, please don't run, sit, there we go, thank you. Uh, place the bed over here because if I die then that's gonna be a really bad situation to be in. Place the crafting table there and let us get started with the stone that we already have actually now that I'm thinking about it. We have plenty. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. Nice. And we're gonna turn it all into stone bricks. All of it. Boom, stone bricks. And we're gonna turn this into a bunch of jungle slabs. We're also going to be needing quite a few jungle stairs, though not that many. Uh, and that's going to be our starting point, I think. We are also going to be needing quite a few... Do we have sticks? We have 17 sticks. Is this gonna be enough to make some fences? I th think this will cover it. And maybe... Just maybe I will want one stone brick stairs. Okay, I think we are ready to get started. Okay, right now I'm just trying to envisioning where I would like the entrance to be, kinda, and I'm feeling here. I'm feeling the entrance to be here. So we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna go like this. This, actually, nope, that is wrong. I've already. <laughs> I've already done something wrong. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're gonna do it like this. Boom. And then right here, we're gonna have door. Just like that. And these will have to be like that. This is going to be that. And this... I'm, bu I'm building this from memory, by the way. I want extra points for building this from memory. Th there we go. House. Ladies and gentlemen. House. I present to you the house. Actually, hold on. Sorry, that was inaccurate. Let's place that there. Mm -hmm. That there. Maybe go ahead and do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Uh, I think we need that there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the house. Oh, you're not impressed? Okay, I guess I'll continue working on it then. All right, let's get the foundation in. So that is going to be one, two three and then we're gonna have four then the same over here one two three and four then we're gonna go one two three four five six and seven like that and then these corners combine and look at that the placement is perfect if i'd been one more over i would have had to demolish this chest but now i don't have to because this is good stuff Right, these are gonna go up like so for now, I believe. One, two, three, four. Yep. Now, this design that I'm using here, I made it in a creative world. However, it is inspired by one of the first designed houses that I ever built in Minecraft. So I thought it was fitting to go ahead and use it for this project because it's a house that has meant a lot to me in the Minecraft world. One of the very first that I actually built, to be completely honest. Now, this this version of it, however, is just very much modernized from back then. <laughs> uh, this is going to be here. We're going to have a little bit of a staircase here, but we will carve that out when we actually need it. I made a mistake. I need glass. I need glass to be smelting. Uh, do we have extra cobblestone for an extra furnace? And an extra piece of coal, because then I'll just set a stack of sand to smelt, basically, right on top of this. Just gonna go fetch it now. Oh, look at that. I can immediately see a minecart going in, going all the way down, some more quarry stuff over here. Oh, I'm loving it. Um, normally, I wouldn't take stuff from the actual island that I'm living on. Um, <laughs> I kind of don't want to ruin this. <laughs> It might just be me being stupid a little bit. Um, did, 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 didn't we have a desert in, like, back there? I kind of want to make a boat and go over there and see what that's about. That looks like a big beach. But also, this could be a nice place to have a quarry. Maybe, like, a lift. And then, digging all this up, I'm trying to talk myself into just getting the sand already and getting on with it. I mean, anything that we break, we can always repair. It's blocking. 
It's a block game. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm thinking since this is a quarry area, we might have a crane here at some point, eventually. Kind of like lifting up a bunch of sand to be maybe compacted into sandstone or something else. I don't know. Uh, just le letting the fantasy run wild right here. And with that, I have a stack of sand and the sun is going down. Perfect timing. Okay, while the sand is smelting, we will go ahead and work on the walls. We're going to have this going all the way around. I'm going to be creative a little bit and use... Let it be a little bit random with the placement of windows. So I'm thinking there because we're going to have the stairs there. This is going to go around like so. This is just going to be... For now, just one big wall. I'm thinking of a fireplace here. I just haven't thought of how to actually... Well, I've thought about it. I just haven't actually gone ahead and designed it yet. Um, let me think here. So I want here to be a staircase, essentially. So stairs leading all the way up. Because we're going to have a loft here. Or an attic. I, I don't know. What's the difference? What, what What's the difference between the two? I, I'm assuming... Well, I know. I guess both of them are different. I, I'll have to look that up. I don't know why I'm asking. <laughs> I can literally just look it up. I am also going to be needing a couple more torches here and a very quick nap. Huh. A loft is distinguished from an attic in that an attic typically constitutes an entire floor of the building, while a loft or a mezzanine covers only a few rooms, leaving one or more sides open to the lower floor. Okay, yes, yeah, so what we have is basically an attic, not a loft. There we go. Nice. We learn something new every day. Okay, stair. I'm trying to remember how I did this. I think stair like this, then stair, then probably another stair. We'll know if this is right or not. B pretty soon, actually. <laughs> We're going to place this here and here. Just place stone bricks there. This is going to be roof all of this, basically, or the side of the outside wall. This basically should work. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Fill this in. Uh, that bamboo needs to be harvested, and I need even more slabs. <laughs> I'm going to need a couple more. For some reason, I thought one coal would actually go ahead and cook all that sand, but of course it's not going to do that. Also, I think I have way more stone here than I'm actually going to... I definitely have more stone than I'm actually going to need. Didn't even save any cobblestone. I forgot I was going to need some cobblestone. Uh, and I already have a stack of sand. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? Never mind. There we go. Let's get this. And I was going to get a few more slabs. Not too many, though. Something like that is going to be fine. So I guess while I'm building, let me know if you enjoy... Ooh... Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, let me know if you enjoy building in real time, because obviously this could have been a time lapse. Uh, last time when I played this, replay mod was not updated, however. But yeah, let me know how you would like to see builds in the future in the series. Time lapses or done like this. Live commentary. Look at that. We're starting to do stuff. That's disgusting, however. That is... No. Just absolute no. That's also questionable, but I can live with it for now. Okay, believe it or not, that is the skeleton of the house. That is the first floor, essentially. We're gonna do, we're gonna do more details. We're gonna add some cracked stone in there, some other stuff as well. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna be. Huh? Oh, it's two small ones connected. They're both the saplings grew. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, anyway, I'm going to harvest all this bamboo now because I'm going to need it. Since we're in a jungle and we're using jungle wood already, I think it is fitting if we go ahead and use bamboo, uh, bamboo planks to go ahead and make the roof. Bamboo. So block of bamboo. I'm pretty sure it's like that. And then we turn it into planks. Uh, I think I need like six of these and then the rest we could turn into planks and I'm pretty sure How do you then turn these into the special ones? I think it slaps and then like that. Yep. Okay, so one two three four five six Maybe like that Turn it all into this a bunch into this a bunch into that and then a bunch into that Oh, yeah, how we're cooking 
No, we're not, because I'm going to need all of these into stairs just like so. Okay, here we go. Operation Roof has now begun. The roof is going to be like this. The outside. Uh, that feels not like what I had originally designed, but we're going to roll with it and see how that is going to look. At the you know what that could that could grow on me. Maybe we'll need to make some adjustments, but it could work. It could work. All right, and we're gonna go up and over like this. Boom, boom, boom. I think and boom. So that is gonna be a oh that's gonna be a roof side. Are you kidding me? Gonna be a roof side. Oh yeah, we're gonna need one, two, three, four like that and it's gonna have to be a full block there and glass panes like that because we like to see the world ah, i don't have a lightning rod or anything this could catch fire oh dear can we actually we can <sighs> okay i'm gonna sleep after that fire has uh <laughs> it's extinguished there we go <laughs> i'm not gonna get stru struck by lightning nor are these dark during night or oh, thunderstorms excuse me did the thunderstorm literally just cut out as a okay okay wow i see how it is game i see how it is wow i have to work in the uh, i have to i have to work in the rain and i didn't get enough of these oh no oh no well i guess we'll see how far i actually get with this roof uh, this far is how far i got with this roof until that bamboo has grown anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much that. There is one job we can do though. And that is dig down for the basement. We might as well spend the time wisely. For this we're going to have a stair there. I think we're going to start digging this out. And we're going to do something like. The new stair. Because we're going down. Then slap there, stair there, because that would make sense. We're going to have a slab here. And I think this is actually going to be the floor. I don't want the basement to be big on purpose. I want it to feel like a basement. Uh, that's how I want this to feel, basically. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. So I will need to move things around here. So you can become a stair. You will become a slab. Uh, that's going to be... Yeah, I think it'll be fine. I think this is fine. And we can have a slab here. Uh, break all of this. Replace it with dirt. And stay there. Because then... Boom. Oh yeah. The walls will obviously need to be fixed. But we'll do that at a later date. Is the sun going down yet? So I can sleep. It actually is. Believe it or not. <laughs> Can I sleep yet? Nope. Maybe I can after making a new iron shovel. I'm really using a lot of iron here, but I have iron arm. I have most of the stuff. I would rather have iron tools so I can get the job done quicker and better than just using stone. Yeah, the, this this is not... I'm not liking this. Alright, basement upgrade. I took a quick nap. The rain has now stopped and the walls are going in for the basement right now now and this place is actually i think gonna look pretty cool that is bunga, gonna bug me for so long i need to fix it i have one pixel room to fix it boom there we go i fixed it leave a like on the video <laughs> uh anyway let's put this in here and boom now we just need to add torch there torch there and what we're gonna use this basement for i'm not sure enchantment room maybe potion brewing something i, I don't know so we have basement done. We have this part of the house done. Again, this wall does look blank. Decorations will have be happening. Uh, will be happening at some point. I still need more bamboo. Still, I could harvest all that up there. That is a possibility, to be honest. All right, more bamboo. But bamboo. Uh, more bamboo blocks that can be gathered. Uh, more. <laughs> Uh, slowly losing it uh more bamboo blocks has been acquired and why can't i do that like that there we go yeah more bamboo <laughs> why 
Why? Why? More bamboo blocks has been gathered and I'm gonna continue making this roof now. See you on the other side before I mess this up even further. Ladies and gentlemen, things are starting to take shape the roof is now completely done in fact i will give you a quick tour so this is the ground floor right here you've already seen the basement very nice and cozy and then up here is the attic which of course i need to add some torches to so we don't get any nasties in here uh this should be fine i'm planning on placing my bed here with quite a nice view of the moon rising as well as the sun and then the sun setting over there in the distance i think that is kind of cool in fact, we're going to move the bed right in right now. Mm, do I have anything to color the bed with? I would like a colored bed. Ooh, do I go red? You know what? Red. Red is the usual bed color before the color update or whatever it was called. Back then, the bed used to only be red. Our bed will be red. There we go. See one other side. Ah, good morning, everybody. Much better. We'll add decorations and potted plants and whatnot in the future time. But for now, I need to get these lights up. Uh, I will want to use lanterns eventually. However, we are poor at the moment, and uh, that is not going to happen. Um, also, while the house is semi done, adding details now, I'm also going to add some other stuff. I believe, did I not get some vines in this operation? I got jungle leaves, but I didn't get any vines. Right, I want to go ahead and cook some, let's see, can I cook one maybe like this much in here and in here, add some coal. If I cook this, uh, I don't know when this was actually added, but now this is the way to make cracked uh, stone brick. So if you cook a stone brick, you will get eventually, momentarily, boom, cracked stone brick. So we can add some details, but I also want to add mossy stone brick so is this this is how you do it okay then um hmm i don't want to waste this mars i have one bone left so i have three operations of bone meal but that should be enough question is where am i gonna do that uh you know what having moss in a cave sounds cool look at our house definitely need some sort of chimney back there definitely need to add that Okay, so if I remember this correctly, do this, bone meal it, and it looks really cool. And we also get a bunch of moss, which I can then use to get mossy stone brick. So remove this, get rid of this, got 13, get a bunch of azalea as well. Actually, this is a cool way of making a way down towards the bedrock level, actually. Uh, 24, 24 is definitely going to be enough, so I'm going to just place one. Use the final bone meal. Boom. This is there if we slash when we come back. And I can actually use these flowering azalea. And I will be using some of this moss for other stuff as well, I think. I'm going to use 16. Uh, maybe 20. Yeah, we have this. We have that. Yeah, 20. We're going to make 20 mossy stone bricks. And then with this, we have 16 cracked stone bricks. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I just am going to continue placing these down, and somehow I still managed to not get the right fence count. How? And I'm actually going to take all these furnaces now, because I don't need them out here. And I probably need to convert one of them into a smoker, one into a smelter, which will require some iron as well. I don't remember how to make a blasting furnace. That's not even here, maybe because I don't have all the ingredients. I know I need some iron for it. I also need stone. I don't know if it will then show up. Nope, no blasting furnace. Uh, maybe I need to craft a table open. La nope, okay. What about smoker? Does smoker show up? Smoker does show up, so I guess it's because I don't have all the ingredients, maybe? I, I don't know. But I'm going to place two normal down and then place the plastic furnace there so we can have the crafting table there. Very, very nice. Right, I still need those fences. Boom, 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 and boom. Do I add something there? It does look kind of weird just the way it's standing. Maybe, 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 maybe I go ahead and make a couple of stone brick walls and place that underneath. Yeah, I think that actually adds a little bit more depth. 
again, we'll come back to this <laughs> area in a moment. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, I'm also going to make a lot of composters. Uh, hello, fella. Do you have anything worthy of my time? Uh, you're actually the water the first water retreat of this world. Let's see. Bucket of tropical fish, pumpkin seeds, pink dye, pink tulip. Not really. Not really, to, to be honest. I uh, need more wood on the other hand. That's what I really need. But do we have that? No, you don't. I need a bigger chest. That's what I also need. Okay, so for the outside of the house, I kind of want to add some decorations here. And something like jungle leaves, maybe. Maybe I need to go ahead and fill these up so that we actually have something in there. Yep, something like that. Need to be careful to not actually fill it all the way up like I just did. <laughs> I guess you can just not do that, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got to do that. Boom, like this. Uh, that's definitely not how we're going to do that. <laughs> uh, but instead of the leaves, I'm just thinking now, actually, maybe... Um, because another thing that I was thinking of doing was potentially doing something like this. Definitely not bone mealing this at all. Uh, placing these there, maybe adding an acelia flower here. And then maybe some grass or something like that. Is doable. That looks hideous. That also looks hideous, so maybe have this in the center. Uh, and then just have shears of grass. We'll need more shears anyway. Yep. Yep, I am liking this. Maybe make a little bit of a path leading down. Definitely need to go ahead and get some shears, though. We are definitely slowly running out of iron here. <laughs> and I am running out of inventory space. This is not good either. Get a little bit of grass, just a couple of pieces. Uh, we could use some bone meal around here, honestly. Something like that, I guess. Uh, but we can go ahead and put... You there, we'll add maybe a double one in front of the glass there would be kind of cool. Like here. Oh, I can't actually make a double out of this. Uh, where do we have doubles? I, I need double tall grass. Do we have that anywhere? I actually made some myself over here. Never mind. Uh, oh, we get short grass though. But how do you make this tall? I guess you need to bone meal it. And then we're just gonna chip in here. We're gonna add some crack bricks, some mossy bits, some normal stuff as well. Add that in here. Maybe add some cracked stuff there. Uh, this definitely looks like something that would be mossy, I guess. Maybe a cracked one right there. Just gonna add these in randomly, basically. Uh, this will have to be sacrificed because I'm gonna destroy this now. Crack there, mossy there. This there, maybe a mossy one here as well. Maybe a cracked one up there. I want this house to look not abandoned, but cozy. Like a cozy little cottage. And place mossy, I guess. Maybe a cracked one up here. I don't want to overdo it, though. Don't want to overdo it. And I will add some random stuff on this as well. Cracked mossy primarily would be down by the ground-ish. So there, maybe cracked here and here. And then again, we'll add something there. Uh, oh, a lead. Oh, nice. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll definitely take that. Cracked, and then maybe. Ah, mossy one here. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's good. Also, need to add something there. Not sure what. Not sure what to place up there. I could place another one of these, but I think that would look a little bit too dramatic. Um, I kind of feel like some sort of... Can we make bamboo trapdoors, right? First, I'm gonna sleep on that. It is possible, but it's very expensive. But I think if it's gonna... Oh dear, I made too many. <laughs> I made too many. Uh, but I think, though, that it's gonna look pretty cool. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that f a lot. I love that very much so. Definitely remove some of the emptiness and adds a little bit more depth. Would you? You guys are really, really testing it right now. You know that. Uh, but besides that, add these to the windows. Oh, yep. Yeah. Is this too much, though? Yeah, I think that's too much. I think this would have to be another wood type. 
in front it works because we don't have the bamboo border up there but down here it's just not gonna cut it um i also think maybe using jungle would be mixing with this too much so i think this has to be oak or something uh speaking of good old oak yeah i think that works add some more colors to it break things up that chest has to go now and i need to go ahead and make some sort of chest organization system here because i'm about to go insane i need a couple of different chests for a couple of different things i already have a double chest out there i guess up here by the bed we can have we can have a special chest here okay we can have a special chest there for very important stuff right that's the attic that's the diamond and the iron we can maybe have a chest here for food or something and then i feel maybe down in the basement we could actually go ahead and ooh, am i gonna do that no i'm not gonna do that we're gonna have some sort of chest system could blend it in with the wall to be honest i mean that would be kind of cool I think this for now will work as a storage solution. We can always expand the basement maybe down and then over or something. But for now, this is going to work. So this one I'm dedicating it to actual placeable blocks, which I mean, this is a block game. So almost everything is going to be a placeable block. But for now, this is going to be it. And then maybe this can be some random, maybe sticks and stuff. This could be really miscellaneous things, stuff like that. Uh, maybe even shears, extra tools, stuff like that. But I'm gonna do the... Oh dear, very rough part of destroying this thing. And hopefully, yeah, I actually got everything. Nice. So all placeable blocks, no matter what, will go into here. Um, That's that. I'm thinking mob drops in here. Again, extra spare stuff. Uh, saddles can go in here as well. Smithing templates can... No. All of the stuff here... That I have here, except for the food. But all of this stuff is really important stuff. And that is going to go next to my bed. Food, however, is going to go in here. I'm going to place half of that in there, just in case. You never know. All this is going to go here. And eventually, this will have to be some sort of... Uh, yeah, I guess ender chest. It, this will have to be an ender chest eventually. But for now, we don't have that. So that is going to have to do for now. What's this? All of this stuff. Right, let's get it and get it sorted and then i guess this chest can become extra stuff i guess this is not really yeah ores awesome and whatnot can be put into here as well i think that is fine and then coal will be put upstairs the heart of the sea i guess that goes here as well this guy is really really getting to me <laughs> uh coal can be put between these fellows right here and i mean we will want a smoker eventually but for now just having a normal furnace, that's going to do the trick. And I think with that, ladies and gentlemen, this house, that llama is living the life, he's free. Uh, this house is now complete. I, I'm really happy with it. I mean, inside, we still have to do some interior work. Again, I want to add this thing over here, add some sort of campfire thing. But for now, we have storage, we have a basement, iron frame to the future. And I have big plans with this as well. We can, this is house is modular. We can expand it in the future. I want to decorate with pots up here. I can decorate with some more stuff out here. I can add a little garden. Definitely, I'm going to add some sort of, as soon as we get potatoes or something, I'm going to probably convert one of these actually uh, into a fenced in plot with some potatoes, which is going to actually probably provide us with most of our food that we'll ever be needing which is going to be really cool. And again, path leading over in that direction uh, to the beach will make some boat stuff. I'm very excited for it. I am not happy with this, by the way. I am just saying that right now. That looks... <laughs> that, that looks very weird. I guess the chest with all the diamonds and the emeralds and the iron ingots and whatnot are so heavy that it needs extra support. <laughs> I guess that's the law behind that. And this thing, um, you know what? I can stand behind it. I'll take it. I will take it. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. But before we end, I promised to reveal the chosen names of the dogs. And I just want to say again, 
thank you to everyone who came with suggestions. If your name didn't get picked, don't worry, we will be naming more stuff in the future. But these are the three names that I picked because I, I just really, I, it just clicked when I read them. And they are Larry, Mo, and Curly. <laughs> I absolutely love the last one, Curly. So those are the three names uh, picked. But again, don't worry, we will get horses, camels, and yeah, there will be plenty of naming uh, opportunities down the road. And again, we don't quite yet know which one is which because uh, no name tags, but we'll get to that eventually in the future. But like I said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Plenty of stuff to do, farms to set up, worlds to explore, trial chambers to find. We have a village, we just need the right trade, so might look into that, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.